it occurred to you that we could be a target? At, well, we, who knew? You know. I mean, you know, we, there were still planes flying when we were having this decision. Yeah. They had made the grounding, but they hadn't all landed yet. Former so Sheriff Jerry Keller idea. says there had been almost no discussion of Las Vegas as a possible target for attack by the likes of Al-Qaeda prior to the events of 9-11. But in the hectic hours after the hijackings, Keller and the other agency heads who gathered at FBI headquarters started thinking the unthinkable. And at that time, I mean, terrorism was thought to be a, a foreign state issue. You know, it was not an issue in the homeland in Las Vegas. Within days, local anxieties increased as the FBI shared classified information with Keller, including details still not widely known. These guys were here. Uh, there were a couple of other things. There was a, a guy that uh, they tracked in Arizona, you know, that, that was planning to come across the dam. Uh, so, you know, there was nothing ever happened from that, but that was early information. Ringleader Mohammed Ada and at least four of the other 19 hijackers made six visits to Las Vegas between late May and mid-August. Ada, who piloted the first plane into the World Trade Center, flew to Las Vegas on June 28th, rented a car, then spent 90 minutes online at an internet cafe across from UNLV. He checked into the Econo Lodge on Las Vegas Boulevard, within shouting distance of the FBI office, put a Do Not Disturb sign on his door, and stayed two nights in a room that faced the stratosphere tower. When he returned his rental car on July 1st, it had 110 miles on it. Don't know where. Don't know where. It, I mean, it does raise the central scariest question that there might be somebody here that helped them, that met yeah. with them. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, without a doubt. But chances are, um, I'm guessing that whoever was here also came here from somewhere else and, and they met up. We just didn't ever figure out who they were. At the time, future sure. Sheriff Bill Young yeah. was in charge of special ops teams for Metro. His detectives and FBI agents poured through mountains of hotel records, rental car receipts, and surveillance videos to document the terrorist movements. Tipsters say at least one terrorist received lap dances at Olympic Garden. Others sipped coffee across from UNLV, partied and gambled at casinos. Many leads from the public could not be confirmed. The biggest questions remain unanswered. What the heck they were doing here? Were they um, pre-operational planning for something here in Las Vegas, gathering intel? Were they here to plan operations elsewhere? Uh, were they here to have their last hurrah before they go get their 72 versions or virgins or whatever they get? And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure, and I don't think anybody can definitively say. Keller agrees we may never know why they were here so many times, but thinks it's not clear Las Vegas was on the short list of targets. This was a place to fly to where they could mingle because we had so many flights coming in. We're, I think, 10th busiest airport in the country, and, and they could come in, be relatively unknown, not observed, not a threat, test the system, and fly back. The hijackers weren't the only visitors of note that summer. On 9-11 itself, more than 100 members of the Saudi royal family and their friends, the Bin Ladens, were staying in Las Vegas, mostly at Caesar's Palace and the Four Seasons. Osama Bin Laden's sister was well known at the Bellagio. The Saudis were grounded along with everyone else, but after being interviewed by the FBI days later, were cleared to leave aboard three special charter flights. They were here, they were, they're always here. They've been here since. There was numerous Bin Laden relatives in Las Vegas uh, before and after 9-11. Uh, some of them were gamblers, high rollers, good customers. Although police received tips that the hijackers met with others inside casinos, including Bellagio, no confirmable images were captured on security cameras. Current Sheriff Doug Gillespie told CBS News on the fifth anniversary of 9-11, the unfortunate bottom line. We're not sure why exactly they chose Las Vegas. The five people who know for sure why the hijackers came to Las Vegas throughout that ill-fated summer all died in fiery crashes, and the truth may have died with them.